Happy Winter's Day guys and welcome to another video. So I'm opening this one up at uh, Drockness Forge, figured I'd give us a good look. The, the next, the quest we're actually doing this video will take us back here, but I figured we'd get a good look at some of the stuff. So you've got this uh, pig, I think that must be Drocknar there, that can't be, it looks exactly the same as Jarlis, but it must be Drocknar. Obviously we met Drocknar at the end of uh, Eye of the North, but it must be him. I've never really considered it, but yeah, there he is. He's got a Santa hat on him. There's some various decorations around. There's this guy here, the snowball fight. You remember in Halloween, there was like that PvP arena that had been added? Well, basically, there's a PvP arena for um, Winter's Day as well, and arguably, it's much better. There are proper tournaments that go on with it as well. There's snowball fights. I'll definitely be showing them to you. Don't worry. In fact, I've got a specific year that I want to show them off in, because really, Arena didn't add very much on that year, so we'll be checking those out. And in fact, this year, they added another PvP thing that's basically Dota, which is really quite cool and I'm quite interested in that because um, last year that was only a PvE thing and that was PvP so that should be pretty cool uh, but yeah let's just speak to a couple of people I suppose so we've got an avatar of Dwayne here of course the season is all about Dwayne versus Grenth and she says a joyous winter's day to you all only through the warmth in our hearts can we bring an end to this season of cold and ice and Grenth says as all mortals face the judgement of Grenth in the afterlife, so the world now lies helpless within the icy grip of the God of Death. Those who mock his power with frivolous merriment risk bringing his wrath upon not only themselves, but all of the world, apparently. Well, you know, I always liked Grenth, uh, you know, especially in comparison to Doom, but he does definitely seem like a bit of an asshole here. Uh, shall we speak to Dark Priestess Vahila? Are you a new person, Velna? Yeah, she's a Winter's Day collector, as there are many around. She says, Deep in the mountain home of the Stone Summit Dwarves exists a servile species known as the Dredge. Though the rightful servant of the Stone Summit, some of these cretinous creatures have dared to revolt. These free Dredge have the audacity to celebrate Winter's Day and give thanks to Dwayna for their freedom. You heard me right. To Dwayna! This insult to Grenth must be stopped. If you gather one Dredge manifesto and bring them to me as proof you have spread Grenth's influence among the Dredge, I will give you this in return. So this is quite an interesting one. I, I, I think it's quite cool they want Dredge manifestos as the collector because it encourages people to go to Sorry's Furnace, which of course was all the rage when this Winter's Day came out. It was new content. It was absolutely amazing essentially when 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 this year winter's day came out this is kind of what people always think of the golden age for guild wars particularly with regards to pvp and balance there oh what fun it is to hex and raise minions while you slay hey so these are carol carolers of Grenth and stuff. So lots of stuff here. Like I say, this the, this video will, will be back. This quest, uh, the the Duane counterpart to the one we did in the first video, it's actually so so much easier because as far as I'm aware, you do, you get all of the items for the scavenger hunt in outposts. I have no idea why they went to such lengths to make the first, the, the Grenth one such a pain in the ass, but they seem to have. So we're gonna go speak to old. I was calling him old Nichols, but I'm, I'm I'm wondering if it's supposed to be old Nicholas. So he's kind of like Saint Nicholas. In any case, we're gonna speak to him. He says, um, this this is the, the, the Duena one. So he says, it's that time of year again, a time of decision and division. Winter's Day, the season during which two of the gods compete to see which of them will dominate the next year, and whether winter will continue to reign over the land. During the first, see, this interests me as well, whether sort of the gods really do have this kind of effect on the weather. And in fact, you know, we can go even further than that and think about, you know, after the gods have so-called left, after the events of nightfall, do they still have this kind of influence over Tyria? During the first snow, children build snowmen to show their support for Duena, the goddess of light, air, and warmth. These snowmen, the Burls, are symbols of their innocence and belief in all that's warm and bright. The Burls keep the servants Grenth, the cold and bitter Grenches, at bay during these chilly times. See, it's supposed to be about warmth, and yet her sort of counterpart is uh, our snowmen. That's a bit weird, but I suppose. I suppose it's okay. Uh, a priestess of Duena named Joy has appeared in Lion's Arch. This winter has been the coldest in years, and Duena needs all the... That's so funny that that di line of dialogue's in there, knowing full well that you can read this every single year. Um, Duena needs all the support she can get to ensure the spring arrives on schedule. You should speak with Joy, and show your support for Duena by building a snowman of your own. One str far stronger than the average bull. Go, hero, and save Winter's Day. For the children! For the children, I say! Okay, brilliant. So, uh, it's no problem. I'll do it for the children children. In fact, one thing I wanted to do, I may as well do it, um, for this series, why don't we wear some Winter's Day type stuff? So let's equip our Peppermint Shield um, and Shiro Sword. That means I'm going to have to change my build. Don't worry about it. I'll do it off screen. And let's get a Festival hat. I used to be sort of well into the Festival hats. I'm pretty sure I've missed a few. Um, do we have the money to buy? Well, we do. Uh, please make me a hat. Let's make, I don't know, was it Jester's Kappa or Winter's Day hat? I don't think it was. What's my earliest Winter's Day hat? On this character. I know I thought I had some from the first one this day, but I suppose not. Um I suppose we'll go with an ice crown. I don't really have many Winter's Day hats, do I? It's like I said last time, though, Winter's Day's not really one that I've I participate in too often. Where is that where's that gone? There we go. So we got an ice crown. 
Very nice. There we go. Very fitting for you, Peter. I love it. So uh, we're going to be going to speak to. Uh, oh, it is someone in Lion's Arch. Wait, is it someone's in? Is someone in Lion's Arch? Oh, someone right next to the entrance to Lion's Arch. Yeah, I suppose so. So I'll speak that up until we get there. Ah, uh, and here's Joy. Hey, Joy. I can't. I can't see that name without thinking of Nurse Joy. I really, really can't. How bad is that? So she says, Happy Winter's Day, Peter Redhill. This is the time of year where we push back the tide of winter with the warmth and fel of fellowship and giving. You see, Duena is the goddess of light and air, and Grenth is the god of death and ice. Every year, Winter's Day Festival is held throughout Terrier to see which god will hold sway during the upcoming season. If Duena proves victorious, winter is abated and life begins to spring forth. If Grenth wins, his icy fingers hold the world in its grasp for a few more months. Of course, Grenth being Grenth, he doesn't exactly play fair. He sends his minions forth to sow Discord and sadness. It's our duty to combat this depression of spirit. See, I wonder if this is like friendly competition between Grenth and Duena or something more serious. It fills my heart with gladness to see. Ch I don't really hear that word that often. Gladness to see children all over Tyria building snowmen to protect them against the servants of Grenth and showing their support for Duena. Grenth's servants, the Grenches, are sour creatures with tiny hearts and bitter, joyless souls. Yeah, I know, we just made one. The snowmen, on the other hand, become heroic burls, blessed by Duena and empowered to keep the Grenches at bay. And sometimes, with the right magic and the right ingredients, a snowman becomes something even more special. You wish to make the most powerful kind of snowman? Well, then you will need a few simple magical ingredients first, as well as a child to provide as well as a child to provide the most important component. A wish. I suggest you seek out Scrappy Yim. What? How do you say? Is that J H? Jim, a child who needs some cheering up. Nothing would make him happier than helping you build the biggest and best snowman ever for the children. Okay, brilliant. So, so yeah, I, would, I may as well explicitly say I kept kind of vaguely going back into it last video. What used to happen in the outpost is you'd have winter's day, it's gay, winter's day gifts, right? They drop all over the, the decorated outpost. They just appear on the floor every now and then, randomly spawn. And what would also happen is you'd have Grenches, NPCs, running around grabbing the gifts, and they'd go up to the gifts and blow them up, similar to what we did in the last video. However, if you wanted, you could pick up the gifts yourself and run them and take them to the children around the outpost. And for that, you'd get rewards. You'd get candy cane shards, which are basically your generic reward for uh, Winter's Day stuff, which you can then trade in for better things. Um, and that used to happen in all of the outposts, but for some reason this year's been uh, it's been completely removed, so you don't see that. But there are a lot of children. They ha they have big a, a kind of a big role to play, I suppose, in Winter's Day. But uh, this guy here. Scrappy Jim. That is, that's J-H-I-M, but the J and the H are so close together it just looks weird. So, hey, how are you doing? Are you a bit depressed? Everyone is so happy, except for me, that is. I just got ditched in the middle of the city by my brothers. They're busy making snowmen, and I'm stuck here with only the stupid red button. Wait, red button? What? I want to make the biggest snowman anyone has ever seen, but I need some help, and everyone is too busy getting ready for the festival. Okay, I'll help. Hi, I'm Jim. Everyone calls me Scrappy, though, on account of me being so small. I'm from Nibu Village. It didn't snow much there this year, so my older brothers and I came to Alliance Arch to make snowmen. That's what I thought, at least. Then we got here and they told me I'm not big enough to help them make a snowman. So they went off with their friends and left me here to play with this stupid button. A button! I mean, what kind of fun is a button? But I have an idea. This button could just become a part of the biggest snowman ever. I just need a few more parts. Two pieces of coal for the eyes. This button I've already got will make the nose. And then we can add a corncob pipe and a magical hat for extra style. Please find some magic coal. Ask around for it. It's got to be out there somewhere. <gasps> there it is again. It's got to be out there somewhere. Ask for two pieces of coal. They must be out there somewhere. So while the, the other one, the one we did in the first video to do with Grenth, was all in, in Kryta, this one is more in outposts but all around the world. So um, this first one with the two bits of coal. We want to get from the Eben Van... Well, no, not the Eben vanguard but just the vanguard over here back in Ascon so we're gonna go back to Ascon city and uh, see if anybody can give us some coal I don't know how you would think to come to Ascon city I suppose this isn't so bad though because you know so many players would have been excited about the decorations they will have come around and wanted to speak to all these people anyway and they would probably have figured it out because I don't think it takes you anywhere that there haven't been decorations added for this quest which is pretty cool um, so we want to go near Simon the Scribe before, yeah, here, are, the, the Enchanted Snowmen do appear, they're only level 3 here, but still, it's pretty cool, I love the Snowmen, I love the idea of adding new henchmen in depending on different events, there should have been more events, I think, in Guild Wars, where you get different henchmen for different times, like, they should have had it so that key characters in the story can be used as henchmen, even characters that die, you know, just for a bit of fun, every now and then, it should be, oh yeah, we're swapping the henchmen around, or we're doing this, or we're doing, you know, just have, like, the Prophecy's henchmen right at the end of Nightfall or something, you know, just 
just a little bit of fun. I think, you know, developers should be a bit more fun and a bit more fearless like that. So, wait, wait, where was Simon the Scribe? I, I thought he was up here. I'm not 100%. Guard Marsh says, some, day, some say Winter's Day lights are gaudy, but they are. I don't know. I didn't catch what he said. He says, thanks be to Grant. This blizzard should stop the char advance and give us a chance to regroup. The snow should put a damper on these firebrands, that's for sure. And these mysteriously appearing gift boxes arrive just in time. I sure hope they contain weapons, because as soon as this snow melts, it's back to the front lines for me. So that's actually pretty cool thinking of how it would react to the snow. So this is something I was talking about a while ago, actually, in the comments um, with someone. It's kind of this whole section here, Kryta and Ascalon, it's all like on the same latitude. So shouldn't, and like Kryta and Maguma, they're tropical areas. So shouldn't Ascalon be the same? I know it's surrounded by mountains, but shouldn't it be the same? Unless you say that all this land is like higher up, I suppose that, that, that might work. Like it's at a higher altitude, so it's always colder. I'm not sure. But yeah, so what, I thought Simon, I thought I knew where Simon the Scribe was. Um, shit. Alright, well, we'll just run up here. We'll just keep wandering around. See what we can find. I'll speak to some nice people. I hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas, by the way. I mean, I literally, this past week or so, I've done nothing on YouTube. Literally, I mean, I've got like 28 comments on my homepage that I need to reply to and stuff. I just, I don't know. I, I never plan to take breaks, but it just sometimes happens, you know, where I get caught up doing other stuff. Oh, here we go. Here's Simon the Scribe. Uh, and Vanguard Kyle. I think this is the guy we want. With his nice fiery dragon sword there. And he says... He's actually got some woolly armour as well. That's pretty cool. He says, hey, guess what? It's snowing and sticking. I just returned from the wall to find old Ascalon like this. It's absolutely buried in snow. I'd say all we need to do our part to make sure that winter loses its hold interior by taking part in the Winter's Day battle between Dwayne and Grenth. Great. So, snow in Ascalon City. Who would have thought? This Winter's Day gift from Grenth sure should slow the char advance. You say you need two pieces of coal, eh? Yes, nothing like coal to warm the stove or give a snowman the magical power of sight. I think I can help you. I don't know if it's normal coal. In fact, I dare say it isn't. But I have these two magical pieces right here. I dare say I don't know if it's normal coal, but they are magical pieces. Yeah, it's probably not normal then. Some kind of titan demons dropped them when some hero or other defeated them a while back. Hey, that was us. I thought they'd make a good souvenir, but they're literally burning a hole in my pocket. Consider them my Winter's Day gift to you, for the children. Okay, awesome. So we've actually, what, we've got like a bit of Abaddon magic in this coal now, if you think of it. Uh, did we speak to these carolers of Grenth earlier? What you guys got to say? Look at all the happy people everywhere. It makes me want to vomit. I look forward to wiping the smiles off their faces and doing my part for Grenth. Wonderful, thank you. Okay, so we got the coal. Uh, now we hit L, and we need to find a pipe made out of a corn cob or some other material. There must be one out there somewhere. Now this one's actually pretty cool. You may remember one character that has got a pipe and has always seen with his pipe. And that would be King Jarlis Ironhammer, who you can find in Drogness Forge, of course. It gets a little bit different, I suppose. A little bit confusing now that either North's out and all of the dwarves are obviously turned to stone. And whether Jarlis would still be hanging around Drogness Forge is debatable. But in any case, he can be found here. And you can come over here and speak to him. You've got all these decorations over here near Glint as well. I don't think that anyone's got any unique dialogue over there. But we can come over here and you see King Jarlis himself. So I think this is one of the only times you ever have to speak to Jarlis here. Like, he, this is the only quest he's ever involved in. It's kind of crazy. Do you remember coming here in Halloween as well with the Nameless Lich just over there? It's amazing how this place changes, sort of, depending on the season. It's pretty awesome. So, we'll speak to King Jarvis. He says, it's good to see you again, Peter. Happy Winter's Day to you. This pipe? It's a little garish, I agree, but it's not made out of corn cob like you'd think. It's actually made out of the bones of a horned frost giant Gornash. When you've got the time, I'll have to tell you that, that tale. It's a good one. All right, I've got the time. Some winter, eh? Even a dwarf needs a little something extra to stay warm this year. Take this pipe, for example. You may think it's a mere corn cob, but, well, let me tell you a heartwarming Winter's Day tale. Surely you've heard of the mighty frost giant Gorgash? No? Why, fifty hands high and twenty kegs wide he stood. The very mountains trembled beneath him. I was a bit more spry and light-footed in my younger days, so, so when Gorgash threatened my village, I took up my hammer like any stout young dwarf would and beat him to a pulp. And then, and this is the heartwarming part, I made this pipe out of his bones. A touching story, eh? Well, this winter's day season reminds me of those years long past. I wonder how old he is. How old do dwarves get? You need a pipe. Hmm. Though it would be a shame to part with it, I can think of few humans more deserving. You have done much for the Delgemo dwarves. Please, Peter, take this magic pipe as a gift. For the children. Okay, awesome. So now we've got a pipe. What do we want next? I can't remember what the next step is. Ask around for a magical hat. There must be one out there somewhere. Where is the... Oh, yeah, I remember. So the hat you go back to Lion's Arch for. And you speak to someone I was mentioning just very recently in Warren Cryer. And talk... I don't want to say he's my favourite character. I just think he's an incredibly awesome, mysterious character that I'd love to see come back in Guild Wars 2. 
Um, so, judging from that, if you guys watch my video, you'll probably know who we're about to go and speak to. As soon as this loading screen is done. thing is, where I'm like doing a marathon of videos today, like right now, I've got uh, the first video is rendering while I play this, so it's like slows down the load. Like, look at, look at this loading screen. It's just ridiculous. Come on, Lions Arch. I know that Lions, like Hammerdown as well, we haven't seen that yet. We'll see it in, in the uh, 2006 stuff, because that was when it was. Can you believe it? That Hammerdown was around in 2006. It's pretty crazy. Um, but yeah, so uh, we'll, we'll see that when we see that. But that one loads even slower on Wednesday. So we're going to come up here. We don't want the Rift Warden. Oh no, we're on the wrong little ledge here. We want to come over here to this man here on the hill. Maggie or Maggi, yeah, a few of you have mentioned that. I think it is Maggi. It's just I don't know. There's a load of Maggies in the game as well. If you go onto Wikipedia, you'll see there are a load of Maggies. I a lot of them tend to be skill traders, and actually, if you think about it, this guy, the first quest he gives you is a skill quest, like it gives you the signal of capture. So I don't know if they're like a cult of people like that or what. It's kind of weird. Another one got added actually with Embark Beach, which was quite recently, which makes me think that ArenaNet are still thinking of this so-called Maggi cult. That'd be quite cool if they were all like these super old beings. But yeah. He's he says, I'm known to mortal men as Maggie Malacquire. What brings you into my presence? Okay, the greatest snowman ever made. I see that Grenth has gathered, gained quite the foothold on this season. Snow in Kryta, snow in Ascalon City. Why, it wouldn't surprise me to find the Tomb of the Primeval Kings frozen shut. And that's in the middle of the Crystal Desert. Well, that's a little line, obviously, in reference to the fact that originally it was, but it's not anymore, sadly. So, you're helping a little boy make a snowman? And you're doing this for free? Well, I won't tell you your business, but maybe I can help. You're going to need a special hat, and I think I have just the thing. You see, I wasn't always a powerful, all-knowing Maggie. Or Magi. Magi. Time was, time was, I was in a flashier line of work involving tigers, rabbits, sawing women in half. In fact, that last one I was, in fact, that last one was why I switched jobs. Of course, I can't wear my magic hat now, but I'm sure they all looked smashing atop your new snowman for the children. What an interesting part of his history then, of what I'm sure is a very long history. So yeah, there you go, that's all of them. Much easier, isn't it? I mean, Christ. I mean, you guys, the first video, you guys didn't see a lot of it, because obviously I cut out all of the walks, but this is so, so much easier. If you guys just decide you want to do one or the other for each of these t times, because what, what will probably happen here is I'll do two videos for each year. One will be sort of the Grant side, one will be the Duena side. That's probably how it will go. If you guys decide you just want to do one, then I think universally, except maybe for the 2008 stuff, the Duena stuff tends to be easier. But there we go. So, hey, Scrappy Jim. Scrappy Jim. Everyone is so happy except for me, blah, blah, blah. Wow, thank you. My brothers will think twice about ditching me in the middle of the city again, especially since they had to run back home. They heard that some Grenches and Humbugs are harassing Nibu Village. I bet with this snowman and Duena on our side, we could really put them on ice. Let's go to Nibu Village and teach those Grenches a lesson for the children. Why would you say for the children? Have they all said for the children? Like, why would he say that? Because he is a children. That, that's just weird. He is a children. Wow. He's a child. Um, I, th I think the quest bugs up uh, bugs up a little bit now as well, actually. If we press L, you'll see it says you've got 10 remaining. I think uh, there's something weird, though. If you go to, like, a different outpost, it says you have, like, 17 remaining. Or it just does some weird stuff that uh, I vaguely remember reading about on Wiki just now. I have no idea what, what, what's going on there. But it shouldn't make a difference. I'm hoping that the fact that I'm playing War in Cryer won't make a difference here either. It shouldn't. But I guess we'll just have to find out. So, we've got lots of skeletons up there. Where exactly are we going? We're going all the way up there? What? Oh, really? Okay, guys. I'll cut it until we make it. Oh, yeah. I've got to change my build as well. That'll probably be a start. Okay. So, we're up near the portal now. I can see some people running out. Here's Scrappy. Hey, Scrappy. How's it going? Do you have anything to say? Anything different? Everyone's so happy. No, you've got the same miserable crap to talk about. Come on, you've built a massive snowman now, man. Be happy. So, uh, over here we've got uh, Freezy. So, this is the giant snow... Wow, and there we go. He's up straight away. I thought we had to activate him. But there you go. He is very fast. He says, Hi, mortal. I'm Freezy, the greatest snowman ever made. It seems that all those magic bits you made me out of turned out to be a pretty potent combination. Don't worry if I melt. I'll be back again next year. Meanwhile, let's go spread some Winter's Day joy to those Grinches and Humbugs. Brilliant. So, here we've got Freezy. Oh, I, well, I wonder why he spawns there at that portal. Why did they put this quest up here? Like, it's such an odd place. But we'll come over here to this village. Uh, obviously, with the big... Oh, that's why. That's actually quite clever. So, they did it here because this is where the big um, thing of... Oh, and these are the humbugs. Oh, these things actually look pretty terrifying. So they look like jade scarabs, but they've got a very weird skin on them. I, I don't recognise that skin from anywhere. There we go. We'll kill these because I've got super overpowered heroes, obviously. Um, the humbugs will keep coming. Look at them. They're horrible. They're massive. Uh, level 12, and we get a level 20 guy with us. So obviously they're all balanced around these quests, like... 
Okay, we're quite nice. It wasn't, a, you know, the game wasn't at a point where every man and his dog was level 20. It wasn't like that at this point. So, you know, a lot of players were coming to it and, you know, they weren't that far through the game. They hadn't necessarily defeated the Titan. I know we just had some dialogue in the quest that suggested we've already defeated the Titans, but, you know... It's, uh, they, they were still pretty lenient and pretty nice about sort of the level requirements and how difficult this stuff were was. And, and you'll find, actually, they kind of carry that through with the other quests as well in later years because they take you into instances. But you know, like uh, Halloween, where we were playing as the trans transmigrified kind of candy corn people and all that kind of stuff, where it gave us our health and our tributes and stuff, no matter what level we were. You know, that's quite a clever way of doing it, and they continue doing that, or they were doing that here in Winter's Day as well, which is pretty sweet. But yeah, this is quite cool, actually. They have you fight here because of the statue of Dwayne. You know, I never really consider this stuff here, but... Grinchus Magnus. I guess this is the big one. Let's see how quickly we can kill him. Grinchus Magnus? Why Magnus? I'm not sure. Why that name would be there if that's a reference to something. I did just read on Wiki that the Bulls are um, a reference to some author who wrote some Christmas story or something. So there you go. That's him down. Very easy quest. We get to go see Joy for our reward now. Pretty nice one. I mean, I enjoyed that one. I always like the Dwayne ones. I, I'm more of a Dwayne. If you if you if you guys are wondering, I am more of a Dwayne person. I I don't usually play like the evil. I don't usually play necromancers. I don't usually choose the you know like if you've got a game right and if you give me a game and you could say right you can be evil or you can be good, you know I I always pick good. And then I'll, pro if I'll, I'll only play evil if I'm really enjoying the game and I just want to go through to see the other content, like just see the other side of it. But even then, you know. It, it's all conditional, it all depends what time I've got to do, so, you know. But that's what I usually play, I'm not usually the evil guys, I must admit. Christ, those lo they, those lines arch loading times are outrageous, that's so bad. Okay, so here's Joy. You can see, obviously, there's lots of other things going on. These are all quests we'll be seeing in the next years as they come up. So, uh, next video... Well we'll, well, we'll speak to Joy first before I do my outro. Don't get too ahead of yourself now. There may have been some magic in that old silk hat, corn pod pipe, pieces of coal, and button that you found. Who would have thought that all those magical artifacts could create such a powerful creature? Well, I think we did more damage, really. Children will surely sing songs of this winter's day for many years to come. Go with Dwayne's blessing and keep spreading the good cheer, hero. There we go. So we get a gingerbread shield now as well. I actually prefer the shield. I love the shield. Um, it just looks so cool. It's so, so cool. I remember getting this for, like so, so long ago. Brilliant. So yeah, there you go, guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Next, next time we'll be looking at the 2006 stuff, which will be pretty good. Um, and, and yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you next time. See you next time, everyone. Hope you had a good New Year's, a good Winter's Day yourselves.